hello guys welcome once again to a new video uh, today I will work on a nice little project uh, to create a do-it-yourself uh, soldering rig so recently I, I bought for myself um, a rework station I don't know if you can you can see it here it's a cheap rework station for SMD components I'm trying to yeah unsolder and uh, repair components small components like this but uh, it's a little bit complicated to to rig this uh, PCBs and for this I also want to to create um, how is it called um, SMD electronic microscope and for this uh, I will use an SJ cam as you can see this is a knockoff of the of the GoPro and I order from uh, AliExpress a CCTV a variable focus and variable um, zoom lens with an M13 adapter or socket and other hardware components to create this so if you want to see how it will look at the, at the end and how it will work please stay with me in the process of assembling this so all the parts are already here and um, yeah let's go to it okay so let's start working on this on this project as you can see here i have a piece of uh, sheet metal that was lying around this will be the base of our our uh, soldering rig i've already made two holes here uh, for holding the the camera uh, holder and also i have here some some uh, other holes from the initial purpose of this uh, unit of this plate but we will still use this big hole here for the, for the mounting of this um, yeah, PCB holder. Okay, so let's start by assembling this L-shape bracket. This will be placed here. As you can see, the, the two holes are lying perfectly here. And we have two small screws. Good. This will be the the chassis of the camera holder. And here is the other part which glides here. So it's a sliding mo movement. This will be placed here and then we can adjust the height as we want it. This will be mounted here by two screws, one down here, And the 
another one. The second one here. Okay. Let's type them. Now we have a, a solid base here and we have to put the, the fixing knob which will be placed here. Just a little bit and then this will be and it here like this okay let's attach the camera in order to attach the camera we have this little um, yeah let's call it um, tripod bracket and with a ball joint here that will allow me to, to swivel it around. Here also we have a um, tripod screw mount and here we have a tripod screw which will go on this side. So we put a little bit, a bit, a bit of spacer here. We will insert it here like this. And we will keep the part for tightening up here. So Tighten like this. Okay. This comes here. Let's attach the camera. The bracket here, as you can see, has two mounting points since we want to see on the screen what we want to. To film, we will use this one. Let's adjust it, and then with this, we can fasten it up like this. And now everything is fixed. This will be the camera, but first let's also mount this part, which will allow us to fix the PCB in place. So we will use one screw here for the fixing of this point. We don't have to tighten it really hard because this would, would always be adjustable so you see now it's fixed but in, in case we want to move it on the left or on the right or we only have to loosen it a bit around and then we can put it like this or like this or like this or however we want to do it so in this case, we will put it here, like this. And then fixing a bit like this. Okay. 
let's also put the camera okay we have now the the height adjusted let's take a, a PCB board put it here and let's power up the camera so this action camera now allows us to connect it via an HDMI to a, an external monitor or we can connect it via a USB to a computer and use it as a webcam to record on the computer or we can use the internal storage I have a 64 gigabytes card inside which allows me to record whatever I want and with the adjustable uh, uh, lens I can adjust the the focus so let me connect it connect it to power because the battery inside now it's it's depleted let's take the the lens keep on off and power it on like this okay let, let's switch cameras so as you can see here this is the final product I have a lot of space here to work I can adjust the height of it and here as you can see I hope you can see I can see exactly what I'm working on I can focus So, and I can connect it to a computer or directly record here. So, I really hope this uh, helps you in do it one yourself. As you can see, it's really easy to do. So, doesn't need a lot of uh, hardware. What I would really want to do is attach some kind of lighting uh, device maybe some LEDs that will light up this board because now I'm using only the, the light here from my, from my desk so it's casting a lot of shadow here but uh, yeah for sure this is not, not a big deal because I can add some, uh, some lights here, some LEDs which will light up this, this board and I can really work on so I really hope you, you like this video if yes give it a thumbs up if I inspired you to do something similar again leave it the thumbs up don't uh, forget to leave a comment I, I will gladly respond to your your uh, questions and uh, yeah see you in the next video okay bye bye